Hi guys, welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today I'm going to show you my apple cinnamon raisin coffee cake. So let's get started. So I have my eggs, my sour cream, my milk, and my butter at room temperature. So for my room temperature ingredients I have 3 fourths cup of warm milk, 2 sticks of butter, 3 eggs, and a half a cup of sour cream. For your dry ingredients, I'm using two packages of the Rapid Rise yeast, half a cup of sugar, teaspoon of vanilla, and a half a teaspoon of salt, and you'll use four and a half to five cups of flour. So that's your dry and wet ingredients. For the cinnamon and apple and the raisin, I'll use three fourths cup of sugar mixed with two teaspoons of cinnamon, a half a cup of chopped nuts, which is optional, then a half a cup of the raisins, and two green apples diced up. So now I'll place all my wet ingredients into my bowl. So here's the three-fourths cup of milk at room temperature. I place the half a cup of sour cream, the two sticks of butter, now I'll place the three eggs in, and this was all at room temperature. My three eggs are in the mixer, so now I'll start the mixer up. Now that I mixed all the ingredients together, the milk, the butter, the eggs, the sour cream, I wanted it all blended together. I'll add in the half a cup of sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, Here's the teaspoon of vanilla and about a half a teaspoon of salt. I'll eyeball it. And two packages of the Rapid Rise yeast. So I have the two packets of the Rapid Rise yeast. I place that in. Now I'll mix this. Now that I have it all mixed together, even though the butter looks a little clumpy, I'm going to add in the four and a half to five cups of flour. So here's one cup. I'll gradually add it in. I'll keep adding a little flour at a time. I'll scrape the sides. I'll add a little more. I'll scrape down the sides. I put the rest of my flour in here, so it was a total of five cups that I'm using because my um, dough is still sticky. And I also switched it to my dough hook. 
So now I'll turn my mixer back on. You can see that the dough is crawling up the dough hook. The dough is still a little bit sticky, but that's the way you want it. What I'm going to do is stop the mixer now, then I'll place it on my table with a little bit of flour and knead the dough. So now I'll remove the dough from my bowl. Take the dough hook off. I'll place a little flour on my counter. So I used five cups of flour in here, but you'll need extra flour for on your counter to knead the dough. The dough is so nice and soft. I'll just add a little bit more. You'll need the dough for about five minutes. Now I'm going to get a grease bowl and put my dough in the grease bowl. So here is my grease bowl. I'll place the dough inside. I'll place a towel on top until it doubles in size. So I'll let it rise for a little bit. So I have it under my heat lamp. I have it covered and I'll check on it in about a half an hour to 45 minutes because you want this to double in size. In my bowl I'm going to be adding three-fourths cup of sugar to two tablespoons of cinnamon. There's one. So now I'll mix this all together. I'll leave this off to the side because this you'll be putting on your dough. You'll need one cup of chopped nuts, that's optional, and a half a cup of raisins and two green apples is what I'm going to dice up. So now that this is mixed, I'll leave it off to the side. So while I'm waiting for my dough to rise, my half a cup of raisins and my one cup of chopped walnuts. Now I'll dice and peel my two green apples. I'll also soak them apples in lemon juice. So now I'll cut my apple. I'll peel it. I'll add a little bit of lemon juice. You want to dice your apples small. So I have them in lemon juice. 
I'll drain the lemon juice from the apples once I put it on the dough. So now on to the second apple. Now I'll place some plastic wrap on top, leave that to the side. I'll preheat my oven to 350. I'm still waiting on my dough. Now you'll bake this for about an hour, an hour and five minutes. You want it golden brown on the top. So now I'll check on my dough. That has doubled in size, so now I'll place it back on my counter with a little bit of flour and roll it out. Now I greased my springform pan so now I'll roll out my dough. Look at how nice that rolls. This dough is nice and soft. Feels like a marshmallow. You want to roll out the dough in a square and try to make six equal parts. I have my six equal parts that I'll be cutting. But before I cut that, I'm going to spread the sugar and cinnamon on top. I left a little in a bowl and I'm going to place my raisins and walnuts inside this cinnamon and sugar. Now I'll spread the cinnamon and sugar out on the dough. Now I'll place the raisins and nuts around. Remember the nuts are optional. With the rest of this, I'm gonna drain my apples and place my apples in with the cinnamon sugar, the raisins and walnuts. Just kind of mix it around so that the apples get coated with the cinnamon and sugar. All right, now I'll sprinkle it on top of the raisins and walnuts. And you can see what it looks like. So now I have my springform pan greased. I already know where I'm going to slice into my dough. And you'll roll it up like a jelly roll. You don't want to roll it too tight, but you don't want it too loose either. So just, you're kind of folding it over.
then place it into your pan. You want to place the seam next to the other one in your pan. And just continue on with the rest. Down to the last one. Now that I have it rolled up and in my buttered pan, I'm going to place a towel on top of it and let this rise double in size. So back under the heat lamp it goes. So I have my towel on top and then I'll just wait for this to get double in size. You can see how it doubled in size. So now I'm going to place it in my 350 degree oven for about an hour, an hour and five minutes. But keep an eye on it because ovens do bear. You just want it nicely golden brown on top. So into the oven it goes. It's been an hour and I just took my apple cinnamon raisin coffee cake out of the oven. So now I'll let this sit for a minute before I put the traditional glaze on top, which is just powdered sugar and a little bit of milk. It really smells good. My coffee cake has cooled, so now I'll make the glaze. So in my bowl, I'll put about four tablespoons of powdered sugar. There's one. So four tablespoons of powdered sugar, and I'll put in about two tablespoons of milk. There's one, two. I'm going to add a little bit more powdered sugar. It'll be about a teaspoon. I'll add in a teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm just eyeballing it. So this is what it looks like. So now I'll place this on top of my apple cinnamon raisin coffee cake. Now doesn't that look good? So now I'll unloose the sides of the springform pan. Look at how nice that came out. You see how lightly brown? Now I'm gonna slice into this apple cinnamon raisin coffee cake. Look at how good that looks. And you can see the inside. Doesn't that look good? It rolls really good. Well, thanks so much for tuning in to another episode of Cheryl's Home Cooking and watch me make my apple cinnamon raisin coffee cake. Give it a try. It's really good. I'll see you guys next video. Bye-bye.